Hello and welcome to My Vapory. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Aspire K1. The K1 comes in what I'm sure you'll agree is pretty standard Aspire packaging. You get your scratch and check paddle on the back so you can make sure that it's authentic. So let's open her up and take a look. And here it is. It couldn't be more simple. So you've got um, a drip tip, a small glass tank, and this runs on the Aspire BVC coils. Not the Nautilus BVC coils, you need to make sure that you get the standard uh, Aspire ones. So like most Aspire tanks, um, to replace the head it just unscrews from the base. This one's straight through. Um, it's Ego threaded, so it's mainly sort of designed for Ego devices, but you can run it on any device with a, an Ego adapter. The tank itself holds one and a half mm juice, and to fill, all you do is you just tip the device and fill down the side. And that's really important when you're filling not to fill any higher than the um, than the centre chimney there. Screw it together. Now once you've filled this with juice, generally it's a good idea to leave it just for a minute or two just so that the uh, liquid can start to fill into the into the atomizer head and you can see a few air bubbles starting to rise up there to say that the, the liquid's starting to go in. From there really, um, you just need to screw it to a device. So I'm running the Aspire K1 on an Ego battery, and as you can see, um, they, they're kind of made for each other. It's a really nice slim profile, and it's a very worthy upgrade to the CE4, CE5 type clearomizers you get in our Ego starter kit, and many other Ego starter kits for that matter. Uh, it's a glass tank, and yeah, unlike the CE4, CE5s where you have to throw the whole unit away, all you have to do is replace these heads. And these atomizer heads really do perform very well indeed. So here it is again, the K1 on an Ego battery, um, and it's a nice little com it's a nice little combo. It, it works quite well. I guess that them both being the same width really helps. Let's give it a vape. Wow. <laughs> If this is an upgrade for you from a CE4, CE5 type clear amizer, the difference in the vape quality is just night and day. The flavor's a lot more refined, um, there's more flavor, it's a lot smoother, um, it, it's really, really nice. The only thing that I would say though is that this comes with a 1.8 ohm coil head. Now there's only one in the pack, so you will need to buy more anyway if you intend to keep using the device. If you're going to use it on an Ego battery, I would recommend getting the 1.6 ohm coil heads. Mainly because, because the vape is so much smoother, you might find that you want just that little bit more power to get more flavour out of your liquid um, and obviously more vapour production as well. But you know, this is just running on a 1.8 ohm coil head and as you can see it's still giving plenty of vapour. Awesome. Um, the stock drip tip that comes on here, you know, it's fair enough, it works quite nicely, but if you get a, a nice short stocky drip tip and put it on there, it, it helps it look even, even nicer in my opinion. Um, the other thing to say is that the, compared to a CE4, the airflow is, it's a lot more airy a draw. Now there's two air holes on the side of the tank, perhaps I should have shown you this on the close up. Um, sorry, on the side of the base. What you can do is just put a bit of tape over one of them and that'll make it a bit of tape so that it doesn't stick out like a sore thumb. But that will reduce the airflow and make it perform similar to a CE4, CE5, which is pretty close to the draw that you expect of a cigarette. The other device that I think this works really well on is the iStick, the 30 watt iStick. Now, if you're gonna use it on an iStick, you will need one of these, which is an Ego adapter. But let's put it on there and give it a go. So to start off with, I'm going to put this down to about 15 watts. It 
even more vapor and uh, even more flavor. In fact, getting it into the range that I personally normally vape, for, vape at, this isn't far behind the Nautilus Mini in terms of the flavor. It, it's excellent. I'm just gonna try and bump it up to 18 watts and, and see how that performs. This thing's amazing. Um, this is a 50-50 juice I've got in here at the moment, um, which is quite thick, so I'd expect it to have some problems keeping up at 18 watts, but I'm not getting any dry hits at all yet. I want to try 20 watts. This might work, it might not, but we'll see what happens. Yet more flavor, yet more vapor. And um, it doesn't feel like it's any worth getting towards uh, giving off a dry hit. This is the first time I've used the K1 personally. I've had other people say that it's a great little tank and that's why I decided to stock it. But I have to say, I'm thoroughly impressed with this. Um, and like I say, if this is an upgrade from a CE4, CE5, you'll be happy. If you want something that gives Nautilus mini performance, but isn't quite so, so big and bulky, <laughs> it's, it's really not far off. So there's not really much more I can say about this, except if you want to buy one, go along to myvapory.com and have a look in the glassomizer section and you'll find it there. If you have any questions, feel free to get in touch. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you again next time. Cheers, bye-bye.